So this is the coach sale. So they have a variety of different things in the sale. So there's a scarf for £97.50. I don't know how I feel about the scarf personally. It's slightly impractical, I feel. Um, these boots are really nice. Um, these are the coach Keith Herring ones. So they're two hundred and seventy pounds to four hundred and fifty. So I guess it depends which design and size you get. So this looks really nice. This top looks nice as well for seventy five pounds. Although I think for a t-shirt that's quite overpriced. The accessory boxes are really nice from Coach. Let me just show you them. So you get a divide is zipped up I feel like these are good for on the go so they're £57.50 and I feel like on the go if in the hotel you want to organise your jewellery that's the perfect size a slim trifle wallet for £147.50 I'm not that keen on these wallets, they look really plain, I think it's very expensive for a wallet that plain, but it comes in a variety of different colours, if you like it, check it out. Now, I prefer these penguin print ones, at least there's something on them, but these are slightly more expensive than the plain ones. No, I feel like there's the same price, same price, so I'll go for the penguin print, really. Um, I think the lighter colour one looks better so they do also do it in a small size but then again it does in different colours I quite like this uh, floral bro print one and they do the penguin one as well so they're tote bags here um, I, I don't know how I feel about them, I feel a bit funky for a coach I think this season they kind of changed things up a bit with the key fairing collection. So I think this is a good tote bag for work or for everyday use. So this is the ox blood. Um, as you can see you can fit quite a lot in there. It comes in different colours. And there's the turn lock there. Well I don't know how secure it is okay so the navy teal is not in the sale it's 295 the one that was in the sale which was the oxblood is sold out so they also do a white one so this is the navy silver midnight Okay, so it's like a very dark silver. There's a blue colour, a marine. So this is in the sale, £447.50. Quite like these tote bags, very simple and elegant looking. So um, the there's a pink one and green one, but they're sold out. I think a lot of the stuff are starting to sell out because the sale has been going on for a few days. I quite like this floral print one and also the rivet one. I think they are quite good as summer bags for going out. They're slightly more expensive. So these are another design of the tote bag. So this is the reversible large market tote for £262. I think this one reminds me of a suede bag. I'm not sure if that's what it's made out of. Oh, okay, no, it's just the way it looks. I don't know, I'd find out. Um, no, it's not, okay. My bad. 
like a leather collar. Um, so that's the pink one. This is the grey one. I don't think the grey is in sale. No, the grey one's still full price. And I think this is the Oxford. Yeah, so this is the Oxford colour. So as you can see on the model here, it looks quite nice. Um, I like the star glitter one, though I think that might be too jazzy for everyday use. I love the Rogue collection. Um, I think it looks really practical. Um, I like how these have these little details, like zips on the side. Well, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like my zero zip. The Rogue totes are really nice. I think they make good work bags, they look sturdy, they look fashionable. So this one is £347.50. I think that's quite good. I think for a coach bag, I mean coaches recently increased their prices slightly, I think, um, to... I don't know, that, I think they've just increased their prices. But I think it has become more popular, particularly in the UK, than it used to be. So the teal rose, I think this is nice, the flowers on it. It's a really good bag. I love this white one. And these um, shark toke is really nice as well. I think they have some really nice stuff in the sale. I think these sunglasses definitely make a good vacation addition. Oh, and they have an Apple Watch strap. They have quite a lot of dinosaur stuff. I don't know why, but that's sold out. Um, they have a lot of dinosaur bag charms. And there's also a novelty strap, so you can change these for your bags. So you can change the strap. If you have any bags with removable straps, uh, the soft wallet is £62.50, which I think is really decent for a coach wallet. And um, I love these type of wallets, they're big enough to fit things in. As you can see, there's a slot for cards and then coins and cash. I really like this design, it's quite plain but I think it does the job. £62.50 is not too expensive. Oh, I love the colour block, but that's sold out. I think it might be still available in the stores if you check them out. John Lewis has coach stuff, or even other department stores. Check them out, they might be doing sales there. And they'll be selling these wallets. I think this one is really nice. It's £97.50, but I think it's if you're not somebody that are too fussed about a colourful design but would like some sort of design on their bag other than the brand, this is good. This floral pattern, it will go nicely in the summer. And also it's just quite a nice touch to the purse. And also the floral print as well, although I think it kind of devalues the purse slightly, I have to say. So this is the small Rissler, but it's sold out. So again, these might still be available in the stores. I'll just show you quickly what they look like. So they just open up like a small pouch, I guess, and they have a little slip pocket. Personally, I don't find these really useful unless you just have cards, the keys and the coins or something to put in there. Because they're not that big and as a wristlet, it doesn't fit everything. And if you still need to carry a bag, it's just going to look slightly out of place. So these two are still available, the floral print ones, for £30. I don't like these 
Keith Haring ones. I know I love the boots, but I'm not very keen on the Keith Haring collection overall. These small wallets are also really cute. They make nice gifts. These shoes are nice, especially the T Rose. I love the T Rose stuff that they do. It's very elegant. Oh, and I love it in the pink, purple. I don't know how you see that colour, but pink or purple. And and the other one with the sequins and star patches are really funky as well. I haven't ever owned coach shoes, I don't know if they're durable, but they just look nice. And the slim wallets here are nice for the T-Rose and also T-Rose detail. Although I think for a coach wallet, this is quite pretty. Normally they're quite plain. I love the way how it opens. There's so many card slots. So there's only two pictures. I wish I can have more pictures of the wallet. Um, not so keen on these skirts. Oh, this is nice. The denim skirt. But I think that's slightly expensive. These shoes are really nice. The flats. I think they'll really complement any dress or even when you wear shorts. Um, I think the black is slightly nicer than the pink with black. Only because I feel like it's the type of shoe that is already quite funky and to have this sort of colour contrast it kind of overdone it. It's overdone. So I think the black is nicer. So these bandit hobo bags I think ends a bit plain and expensive for what it is. Um, scrolling through. Ah, these are really nice. I have one of these in blue. Like a navy, dark navy blue. Um, they're really, really comfortable and practical. So I definitely recommend it. It comes in so many different colours. And it's on just £62.50. And they definitely make a good everyday bag, going out bag, work bag. Same as the Clarkson Hobo. The Clarkson Hobo looks really good as well. £245. They're really good quality, really soft and well made. I love these Coach Swagger shoulder bags as well. It reminds me of the Chanel Boy. Although he is very different in its own way. Firstly, the turn lock section is different. In the Chanel Boy, it's a magnetic. I think, in, in fact, I don't even own a Chanel, but I don't know, I just feel like it looks like it. Um, the, it's £162.50, comes in two colours. Personally, I think the lighter colour looks better, but that's only summer. I think the other one's more of a winter one. But I think they're still both good to add to your collection, or even one of them. The black one is definitely amazing. I love how the black and gold contrast together is really well done. Um, it is slightly cheaper, these two, compared to the last two. I think these are really small bags, so it doesn't fit a lot in. As you can see, it is a small bag. Oh, I love this in the Coach Swagger shoulder bag. £187.50. It's like a snakeskin type material. The cream, I don't know what colour this is. It's a cream colour bond, it's nice. Well, I love this type of bag, although not very practical for me because I can't really carry small bags. 
around. I think the Keith Herring Rogue is a nice blue, but I don't like how the love heart that it feels like someone's drawn on the bag. Although that might be offensive if you like it, I'm sorry. Um, for £125, I prefer this one out of the blue one and the grey one. For the grey one, I think the colour combination is really well done. The duffel shoulder bag is quite a nice bag. It's kind of like a bucket bag with a turn lock at the top. So, I think there's quite a lot of liking towards bucket bags now. Um, it's definitely easy access when you open your bag, you can see everything. So, it's definitely a good one. They don't do it in the cream colour the model just shown, it's just the blue and the black. And then they do this one with a coach link detail at the bottom, which I quite like. It makes the bag look slightly more fashionable, I guess. The Eddie shoulder bag, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I prefer the Chelsea bag, um, but it comes in nice colours. Oh, I love these two colours of the road bag. And the brown is really nice too. I feel like the Rogue collection is definitely good as a work bag. Or maybe like a school bag or some sort of smart bag. Oh, and this is my favourite. Is the coach signature one? I don't know why it keeps jumping colours, but it only comes in this colour and a pink. I don't know which one I prefer actually, I think they're both nice colours. I think for different use, the pink one more for a fancy type used whether it's the darker ones more for everyday smart I think the floral print I don't know I think I prefer the coach signature although the floral print is very pretty especially in the pink colour oh the glitter tea rose that is definitely a lovely one but I feel like that's too eye catching for everyday use. So again, it depends what you're buying it for. The quilting rivets are quite nice as well. Although I don't know why I'm not very keen on the rivets. In real life, I've seen them. It, it feels slightly strange. Um, the tea rose again comes in different colours. I think the pinks with the flowers definitely always goes nicely. The colour block quilting and rivets definitely is better than the other rivet. I'm not really keen on this dark grey one. Um, this one is quite nice, but this they, they're very different in prices, so that also might influence your decision. Um, these is the turn lock early, so they had the edgy shoulder bag. So now the turn lock one. I think I prefer turn lock one. It looks slightly more designer with the chain strap. But this before it just looked really strange. The turn lock hobo is a bit plain, but again, it's a good quality bag. I don't think these shawls look very good. The chain Pere Satchel is very nice, the satchel is very smart looking, although I don't quite like the colour combination. I think they do in different colours, I'm not sure, I'll see later. I think these Dakota satchels look very strange as well. 
I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of that. I don't particularly like a lot of the coach stuff, but the ones that I do like, I am a big fan of. I think this T Rose Dakota one is the best. I think with everything, the T Rose one is the best. Oh, the Mer Mercer? Mercer or Merca? I don't know. Merca's satchel. It's quite interesting. I think it's quite fashionable now to have this turn lock thing at the top. I've seen quite a few brands have it this season. I prefer the white one. Although I think the black one's really good as a smart casual bag. Whereas this one is kind of like an occasion going out bag, the white one. I think this at this oh okay, they're just different metal combinations I think. I love this pink one but it's sold out and they do different colours. I think with coach as well, I quite like the pink colour ones. The black, pink and dark navy blues and anything that has the tea rose on it. I think the greens are quite nice. I think these sandals are quite good. Although I don't know if you'll have about the back where it curves in like that. I don't feel like it'll really support your feet. Oh, I love these sandals. I think I'll get them in. I'll get the one on the right. Only because I feel that's more summery looking rather than a pure black one. The other one looks something too mechanical. Oh, this T rose slide is nice as well, but mm, I don't know how I feel about slides. I don't tend to wear them. So these train ones look nice, but I feel like they're very funky. Oh, a ring. Many 18 gold gold plated. I didn't know Coach did rings. And I think the T Rose one is really nice. I keep going about the T Rose. I just love the T Rose. I think these mountain boots look nice. No, not mountain boots. What am I saying? Just boots. Um, I think this turn thing on him reminds me of the bag. It's, these are really good. These heels are nice if you have a nice sparkly dress to go with it. These are quite nice work pumps. I don't know, I think this colour is quite good as well, the creamy colour. Oops. The snake skin one I think is more of a red carpet thing. I think this I think the Waverly pumps are good for work too. They're quite plain and simple but classic and chic. These bag drums are so cute. I think at least that's what they are. Um, the crossbody, I'm not very keen on these. I think they're a bit small. Um, I definitely like them in with these rivers stuff. Only because it looks slightly more designer, I guess. I, I think with just the plain colour, it could be nice if you're just using them as a work bag or a smart bag. But when it comes to going out and nights out, I think these more sequined and colourful bags definitely make a difference. 
I think it looks more aesthetically pleasing. These iPhone cases, oh, I love these ones, the Coach Signature ones. Not too keen on the key pairing. I don't even know um, who he is, to be honest. Um, cherry print is really good, and same as the floral print. Although for a phone case, this seems rather overpriced. Although, I don't know. The raincoat, oh Parker, I beg your pardon, is £510. Didn't expect that. There is a lot of nice stuff in the sale, but then there's also other stuff that you think, okay, that's a bit of an extravagance, even for a sale price. So I guess this is a bag charm. And they do dinosaur stuff, which I don't know why. Personally, I don't like it. I'm not into dinosaurs. I've always had nightmares about dinosaurs when I was younger. Shark ornament. Mm. I wish they did something like cats or dogs. Something more neutral in the sense of animals. So I never knew they did jewellery. Um, some of the jewelries are quite nice, but I wouldn't buy jewellery from Coach because I just don't see them as like a jewellery brand or somewhere that I like get jewellery from. But I think bags and wallets definitely. The messenger bags are nice, I think, but I just don't know, again, how you can fit anything in them. They're very small. I've seen them in real life. They're definitely something of an evening bag. Oh, these mini skinny ID cases. I've done a video on in my mini haul of a sale and essentials. I can't explain how much I love these. I think they're so practical. They're so great at £30 and make lovely gifts. So even at the full price £60, I think they're really good. Um, These zip wallets are really nice too as a wallet a bit plain but I think most people for an everyday wallet would choose a plain one so that when you get it out don't look too fancy um I love these pair of chainers the cherry patches but I'll never get something that light coloured only because I fear of marking them and I feel more so with coach that the leather is very delicate but they have some really nice trainers that I didn't realise before these loafers are really nice I love the black one I feel like I can wear the black one more often. It's more of a practical bag, practical colour. The accordion wallet, I love accordion, just can fit everything in them. That's the type of wallet that I use. I prefer the badge version rather than the ingrained version. Only because I feel like the ingrained version looks cheap or fake. Although I don't like the logo too obvious, sometimes it, I like to feel that it looks legitimate. I love the coach link detail on here, but £200, I don't know. And this one here, I do not even know what I make of it, seems like somebody did a poor job of stitching the sequence on. Some of the stuff I think is very out there and some of the stuff is really nice. I think it's quite contradictory of Coach. I like this colour box quilting thing is quite nice but I feel like it's very expensive even though for a sale item. So 
So for the tea rose and the floral ones, they do quite a lot and the these um, para rivets I don't know there's not that much that I like to recommend in the coach club yet. I think definitely the mini skinny ID cases they're my favourite and then also the Charlie which I'm trying to look for and the Parker and I think the Rogue the tea rose. So these are the clutch bags. I think they're a bit plain for a clutch bag. So I prefer these more colourful prints. Just feel like you're paying for something that's plain you can just buy from a high street store rather than from a designer, I just feel like you've got to have something a bit more detailed. There's a lot of things in the sale. Um, I love the penguin ones, I think they're cute. A lot of people like penguins. It's, again, it's quite a neutral thing. It's much better than the dinosaurs and the sharks. And the T Rose, that is so beautiful. I cannot get over the T Rose. I think the Nolita wristlets are the best ones, personally, only because I feel like you can fit slightly more in them and they look more like a clutch wristlet than the others. The other one feels a bit more flat, whereas this it feels a bit more like a pouch. And I love the chain ones, the little chain detail ones, as opposed to the leather wristlet part. Because I feel like with the chains it's just a bit more fancier and expensive looking. As you can tell, I love these as well. I think last year Selena Gomez did a collaboration with Coach. And she came and did a collection with her name on it. And she also included a Nanita wristlet in that. I think that was the best one they did although for this season there's some really good ones like the ones that I've just pointed out so these rivet ones they're so nice um, I think both jackets can be bought from the high street it's nothing really special it's very expensive for what it is I'm not a big fan of the coach clothing stuff. Um, I think I'm only into the bags and wallets, not even into their jewellery or shoes much. Although I think from what I've seen today, I'm quite impressed with their shoe stuff. Like these heels, they are so nice with the T Rose on the heel. They make some really nice summer sandals. I do not like the Keith Herring in the bag stuff. I like the boots earlier but definitely not on the bags. I think these are slightly weird looking. I think the shape of the shoe is nice and it could be very nice but the way that they've added on the pattern is not very nice. The tea rose is quite fancy here but it looks slightly odd in black the Mary Jane oh, I love these they'll make really good summer shoes I'm not a big fan of open toe oh these are really good as well I just love the T-Rose stuff the bottom line is T-Rose and this colour is nice but I'm just so Nervous of staining, there's no way of washing it or anything like that. So you can customise these, which is the only reason why I think they could be worth getting, is if you can customise something that you like on there. The other ones you can't, the ones with the prints.
I mean, I think their dresses are really plain. I mean, I don't know. I'm only into the brand for the bags and stuff. Actually, I think these two are very nice for the summer. But they're very expensive, more expensive than most high street stores. Um, I love this crossbody, the chain, and so it reminds me of a mini Chanel. So they're doing different colours. I love it in this rose. I love flowers. Flowers are definitely the way to go. I think the pink one looks nice, but I think if yours and do that, likes to wear it all the way around, not keen on light colour, the black one is better. The bucket bag is so nice as well for £125. And Chelsea crossbody again. I'm sure that appeared earlier. This swagger crossbody is so cute as well. These are really fancy bags. The Keith Curran collection is definitely not great. These dinkies are nice, but I feel like they're overpriced. 